Yes, it is. Hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. I want to show you what we're seeing outside right here right now, and you'll notice that we are eyeing a uh, very large area of rain out to the west. This is all moving to the east, and as it does, Certainly going to be a huge player in our forecast later tonight into the day tomorrow. As we zoom in closer to home here, you'll notice that uh, things are still rather quiet for us. We have one little shower right now in and around Lynchburg. These showers are few and far between. They're only going to grow into the region here as we head beyond about three, four o'clock in the morning. But right now, areas say near Forest, Timber Lake, south towards Alta Vista, seeing a couple of lighter showers. All of these little itty bitty showers pushing to the east. 20 to 25 miles per hour. I want to let you know that indeed tomorrow we have a winter weather advisory for the higher elevations of Pocahontas County in West Virginia, also for Highland County here in the Commonwealth. We could have a brief light wintry mix in areas above 2,500 feet in these two counties. Whether it be freezing rain, sleet, or snow, it's not going to accumulate to much, but it could create just enough to create a couple of, no, of uh, slippery roads as we head into the highest elevations of these two counties come Tuesday morning. In addition to that, the winds are going to be on the uptick tomorrow. Already, we have a wind advisory for western Pocahontas, western Greenbrier counties in West Virginia, also for Bland, Wythe, and Grayson County here in the Commonwealth. Again, these wind advisories go from now through 6 p.m. on Tuesday. Most of us won't have winds stronger than 10 miles per hour tomorrow, but again, our westernmost counties could have gusts up to 40 to 50 miles per hour, especially again in the highest elevations of those counties we just showed you. Rain is going to fill in for us here after about 4 or 5 a.m. And tomorrow's morning commute, there's no other way to say it. It's going to be very, very wet. Notice also a little bit of pink showing up north. There's that brief wintry mix for us Tuesday morning towards the uh, higher elevations of the highlands. As we continue to go through time, heavy downpours will likely be with us through lunchtime into dinner time. I think the heaviest of the rain will likely be in areas east of the parkway. That's also where we have the best chance to see a couple of thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. A couple rumbles of thunder possible for you folks across south side after about 2 p.m. tomorrow. Then the rain will really, I think, start to let up after midnight tomorrow night. So really from uh, really late tonight all through the day tomorrow, even into tomorrow evening, the rain could fall heavily from time to time. Again, I stressed you. The mountains will be the first to dry out late tomorrow evening, and then areas further east will dry out soon after midnight. I do anticipate Wednesday being for the most part a dry day with increasing amounts of sunshine. We do need the rain, and we're going to get anywhere from about a half an inch to an upwards of three to four inches of rain. Okay, Those lower totals will be into our westernmost counties. Those higher totals will probably be east of the parkway. On average, half an inch to about four inches of rain, with most of us seeing about one to three inches of rain as we slowly but surely chip away at the drought. Temperatures stand for us right now, 30s and 40s, most of us in the 40s. 45 in Lynchburg, 46 Roanoke, also at Smith Mountain Lake, 43 Blacksburg. You are in, at 34, though, in Hot Springs, and that is why, friends, we could see a brief wintry mix here late tonight into tomorrow morning towards those higher elevations of the highlands. Highs tomorrow only around 44 NRV and Highlands, 46 in Roanoke, 47 Lynchburg. You could hit 53 to 60 tomorrow south side. South side without question going to be the warmest zone. Mountains are going to be the coldest. Now for tonight, we're going to see the rain really developing very late tonight. Overnight lows tonight, 30s to near 40. Cooler, more humid tomorrow and certainly very, very wet at times. Highs tomorrow as we just talked about, mainly 40s and 50s. You're going to need the umbrella tomorrow. It's going to rain and it's going to rain a lot on Tuesday. Tuesday, increasing sun Wednesday, mainly sunny on Thanksgiving. A little more cloud cover Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but only a minimal chance for a stray shower Friday through Monday. Best chance for rain Black Friday into this weekend will lie in areas to the south of us. 